everybody. It's another rainy day here in Idaho, so we're going to do a little cooking today. Uh, I'm going to make a recipe that I've been wanting to make for quite a while. It's just my uh, wild elk, uh, wild morel uh, stroganoff. And so let's go through the items we're going to use. We use a couple of containers of sour cream. I got eight cans of cream of mushroom soup. I have a whole onion, eight cups of cleaned, washed, and drained wild morels. Um, gonna use uh, eight pints of good old bottled elk. Gonna use a, a large bag, 32 ounce bag of these uh, uh, egg noodles. And then I'm gonna use some garlic salt, a little Traeger seasoning, and uh, little Snyder's prime rib and roast seasoning uh, to give it some flavor. Uh, you can use whatever uh, flavors or spices that you want in yours to whatever suits your fancy. So let's get into this. I'll show you what we're going to do. So I've said this on several of my videos. Normally you saute your onions and mushrooms in butter. Um, where I'm going to be freeze drying it, uh, oily things don't last very long in the freeze dryer. So I'm going to use a little bit of broth. Uh, about a half a cup of broth that I'm going to saute in. And I'll get the same job done um, without the grease. Put about half my mushrooms in each one. It's a pretty big batch. It's going to take a couple of pans to get everything to fit. All right, let's add our elk in. Eight jars of elk. Keep adding it. All right, put it in a bigger pot. Now it's time to add our... Uh, cream of mushroom soup. Originally thought I was going to add uh, two sour creams. I think to start with we're going to add one and we'll see our texture and our flavor from there. Tastes pretty good right now. I'm going to add a little more flavoring here. Add a little bit of my Traeger rub in there. All right, let's get our noodles cooked up. Well, the only thing left is to add the noodles and stir it all in. And we've got elk and wild morel mushroom stroganoff that is to die for. This stuff is the best. All right, I got my trays divided up into one cup areas. Believe it or not, my one cup measuring cup broke, so I gotta use a half cup to do it. All right, our stroganoff has finished up from the freeze dryer. Take a look at it. See, it's uh, all the way done. Um, it's nice and lightweight, but that's what they look like. Um, just a square wafer that comes out of the freeze dryer. So in my tray, I have six one cup servings. And what I do is I make my servings for my freeze dried that I take into the mountains a cup and a half. So I cut two of these in half, and put one and a half in a pouch. So I'll just take a spatula roughly right there in the middle just chop those in half and I've mentioned this before but in case you're new to the channel or you haven't seen this I don't just put this wafer in my in my pouch it just doesn't fit very good and I found it rehydrates better when it's in smaller pieces so I take a Ziploc bag and I put my wafer in there and I have one of these uh, meat tenderizer mallets and I just tap it a couple of times and it breaks it apart doesn't pulverize it, it just breaks everything apart so it's a little smaller. And then I'll just put that in my pouch. And they rehydrate really well doing that. Plus they fit into my pouch a lot better. So I'll take this half here, do the same with that. A couple of taps. Um, put that in my uh, Mylar bag. settle it down there a little bit anyway you can see in there that uh, makes a really nice package so I weigh these going into the freeze dryer wet I weigh them coming out dry and then I just do the math and uh, the difference is the water lost and I'll divide that up by the 
the 16 mils and it tells me how much water I need to add to rehydrate it. Right, I've got everything packaged up here. Now I just got to add my oxygen absorbers. I'm putting in a 300 cc oxygen absorber into each, each one. Okay, I got my oxygen absorber in there. There's Ziploc Mylar bag, so I just zip it shut and hit the sealer. All right, I did my math. The total of the trays wet was 9688 grams. After they freeze dried, it was reduced down to 5057. Taking that difference, you get 4631. And I divided those up into 16 meals, so I divide that out, and that comes out to 289 grams per meal. As I've got my scale out, I put a measuring cup on it, and I zeroed it out. And I'll add the water to see how much 289 grams is equivalent to. All right, I added it in. I've got about 288 grams there. Looking at my uh, measuring cup, that's about one cup and a quarter of water. All right, so I made up a label. Uh, my little label maker and I just call it elk slash morel stroganoff today's date 6 10 23 and one and one quarter cups of water now I'll just stick that on each one of them and they'll be ready for storage there it is it's all packaged up that's a wrap I put the labels on there instead of writing on it with sharpie what I found is the sharpie will rubs off especially if you put several of them in a backpack you get to where you're going, you won't know what you're gonna have for dinner until you open it up. Hope you found something useful here. Um, you know the drill. Like if you do, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell for notifications and leave me a comment down below if you got any questions or anything I can help you with, but appreciate those comments and that helps me out a bunch. Anyway, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one. We got lots in the hopper. Have a great day.